Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mohammed Kubeb. In this video, we are going to discuss about patching and application lifecycle management in Azure Virtual Desktop. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the future updates. If you want to learn more about Azure or Citrix or FS Logix technologies, you can check out my bestseller Udemy course, which is also available in Udemy for Business. The link for the course has been given in the video description. So in a typical Azure Virtual Desktop environment, we may have monthly patches such as monthly windows or security related patches, or we may have a requirement to install or push application or application updates to the Azure Virtual Desktop. So when it comes to Azure Virtual Desktop, there are two methods we can use to do the patching. So the first one is either you can use SSEM or if you have any other tool, such as Ivantio, etc. So you can use that to patch your Azure Virtual Desktop session host, or you can rebuild your session host with the image so that that image is having all the application or operating system related patches. So before jumping into this, so let's see the behavior of Azure Virtual Desktop. So many people might be from Citrix or VMware background, they have a concept called clone. So what they will do, first they will create a master image. In this master image, they will install all the application. So from this master image, they will create hundred or thousands of VMs. So basically these VMs will have all the updates or application which were installed in the master image. So for example, after one month or two months, you may have new applications or new patches, etc. What we do in Citrix or VMware environment is we install all those patches here in this master image itself, and then we will take a snapshot. And from this snapshot, we will roll out to the cloned VMs, which is these VMs. So again, these VMs will get rebuilt from this snapshot. So this process is completely automated. So you no need to manually install patches on your hundred or thousands of virtual machines. So you can just install it on your master image and roll it across a number of virtual machines. So when it comes to Citrix or VMware, we have two types of virtual machines. One is static, another one is pooled. So static is nothing but kind of a physical machines or personal machine we also call. So whatever the changes you do on the static machine, it will persist. However, in the pooled VM, it is not like that. Pooled is not dedicated to any users. So let's say you have five VMs, one, two, three, four, five. So if the user one is connecting to the VM number one today, maybe tomorrow he may get VM number five. Day after tomorrow, he may get VM number six, uh, three or whatever. However, in static, it is one to one. So one user, two user, three, four. So each user, they will have their own VDIs. So anytime if they connect, they will connect back to the same virtual machine. So in pooled also, we have two things. One is static pooled. Another one is random pooled or non-persistent pooled. What is the difference between static pool and random pool? The static pool is nothing but whatever the change you do, it will persist. For example, let's say you have five VMs, one, two, three, four, five. So let's say user number one, he logs into VM number one and if he saves some data in the C drive, etc. So it will persist in the C drive of this virtual machines. So tomorrow, if you log off, he may not get this VDA, but he may get some other VDA. But however, the data which he saved in the C drive, it will persist as it is. Similarly, if day after tomorrow, if he connected to some other VDA, if he saves something on this C drive, still the data, everything will be saved in the C drive itself. However, if he logs into some other VM after some days, he may not get that C drive data because it is saved in some other VM, not in this VM. Let's say if he is connected to the same VM, maybe uh, uh, 10th day, 
so he will get the c drive data because whatever the data you store it will be saved so this is not a read only which is called as static pooled virtual machines and then we have random or non persistent pooled so in this whatever the changes you do after the reboot it will flush and you don't have anything on the c drives for example let's say you have five vms over here and if the user logs into the first vm and if you do some changes on the c drive then till the time the session is active those changes will be there but the moment the user logs off it will get erased or it will get flushed so whenever even though if you are connecting to the same vda maybe after two days he won't see that data because it is non persistent random virtual machine so whatever you do it will get erased after the reboot so this is the difference between static pooled and random pooled or persistent static persistent or uh, uh, random persistent non persistent you can say so when it comes to azure virtual desktop we don't have this concept which is random pooled or non persistent pooled so we have this concept which is static pooled so it means whatever the changes you do on the c drive or wherever it is it will persist on that particular virtual machines okay so for example let's say you have three vms which is created through azure virtual desktop portal so any changes you do on the c drive it will persist or on the desktop it will persist however it is again pulled it means the user may connect to some other vm where he won't able to find his data because it is pulled so it is not dedicated to particular user however the data whatever they save it will be present in that particular vm or in the local drive of that vm so it is very important to understand that azure virtual desktops are belongs to this category so it means when you plan your patching so you are manually pushing the patching on the vms so that even though if it is reboots or if anything happens also so this vms will have all the patches etc so it is not like random persistent where after the reboot everything will get flushed so in this scenario you have to do the patching manually using ssm or there is some other method which is reimaging so ssm what it will do we have a ssm server over here so in this server all the patches will be available and through this ssm server we are going to push patches to our avd virtual machines this is same as we push the patches to our physical desktops there is no change so you need to manage your application or os patch life cycle management same as like a physical machines so this is one method of doing the patching or pushing the applications for example let's say if you wanted to push some application let's say microsoft word or microsoft uh, office or notepad plus plus etc so you need to create a package here with the help of your ssm team so using ssm you can push those patches to a number of azure virtual desktops so this is one way of maintaining your session host with the patching or application life cycle management this is very easy and most recommended method and second one we have something called reimage method so let's discuss the reimage method so it is nothing but as i told you we will have a master image and then from this master image we might have created let's say we might have created five vms so during the initial creation you install all the patches all the application and everything and you deploy five vms all the five vms will have same application and patches etc however in azure so once you convert this image uh, master image uh, master vm to image you cannot reuse the virtual machine because so once we do the sysprep and then we convert it to master image so once we convert it to master image this virtual machine is no more usable so you need to delete it so to do that so to avoid this situation what we are actually doing while building our master image first you create a virtual machine install everything all the patches operating system patches application patch etc then take a snap of this one so once we have the snapshot 
we can create a disk from this snapshot from this disk you can create a vm okay so from this vm what we can do we can do sysprep and then from this we can create convert it to image so from this image you create 5 10 15 or a number of virtual machines so this is the procedure how we are creating the master image and then creating a host pool or vms for our azure virtual desktop so after one month you may want to push some applications or push patches one method as i already mentioned you can use sscm but you don't want to use sscm in that case what you can do you have a snap of the previous state right so from this snap you create a disk again and from this you create a vm you can call it as this is vm2 or master image 2 maybe version 2 you can call so in this vm so install all your new updates or new patches etc so once everything is ready you put these vms in a drain mode and you create a new set of azure virtual machines for example let's say you have 10 vms or 5 vms in your host pool so put those 5 or 10 vms in a drain mode and then create a new 5 or 10 vms accordingly for example let's say you created a new 5 vms and this virtual machine will have all the updates latest updates of related to patches or application etc so once you verify everything is ready so once you verify that everything is working fine maybe after one or two days after your cooling period you can delete these virtual machines and you can you can continue with this for the production so now these five vms will have all the updates etc but only thing you have to remember is the host name or the vm name of these five vms will differ okay so accordingly you need to inform your monitoring team or your defender team etc to configure all those things on these vms as well so this is a pain point every time when you recreate you need to inform all the monitoring team or dependent team so that they will be aware of the new host names etc so similarly this is for the updating the patches for example after two months you may have some new applications or some new operating system patches perform the same let's say after two months or three months you wanted to install some applications or operating system patches etc what you can do so earlier you had a vm right so before you convert this vm you have to take care of a snapshot so you need to take a snap before you convert that to image so from this snap again you repeat the same procedure which is create a disk and create a vm so install everything on this vm and again deploy the virtual machines and delete this old virtual machines so that all these new vms will have all the updates so make sure before you convert or do a image of this virtual machines always take a snapshot so that it will be used for the next rollout so this is how you can use sscm or reimage method to do the patching or application lifecycle management the entire process of creating a new virtual machines and putting the old one in a drain mode and then deleting the old vms etc all those process you can automate with the help of your devops team instead of doing it manual because manually creating and deleting and putting all those in a drain mode it may take a lot of efforts so it's always advised to check with your devops team and work with them to make it automated process there are some blocks available so you can check out over the internet for the reimaging process so one of the very good blog which is written by aresh so you can go through this blog in this blog he has mentioned everything related to reimaging and how to push the operating system updates using reimaging method so you can refer to this if you wanted to try this method to maintain your host pool up to date with all the patches or application updates.